Hi, I'm John Sullivan with 401k Specialist from the floor of the 401k Summit here in Las Vegas. And I'm joined by Eric Stevenson, who is with Nationwide. And we were talking, what else? HSAs, right? What's going on with HSAs? What are you seeing? Well, uh, thank you. I'm glad you're here. Um, it's, it's an amazing time around the HSA space. We've continued to see this shift. We saw it from uh, defined benefits to defined contribution, that shift from the employer to the employee. Right. We're seeing the exact same thing in healthcare as they're shifting some of that expense and that burden from the employer to the employees, and believe me, employees are really feeling it. At this point, HSAs, I mean, is there still an education curve out there, or are most people getting it, and most advisors getting it at this point? So it's interesting. There is still a huge education curve, but yet the growth is amazing. So over the past, call it three or four years, HSAs have grown at about 20% a year, which is amazing. Wow. But yet, you know, yet there's still so much more to go. Um, in, term, in terms of by 2020, we're expecting that to go from 54 billion in HSAs to 78 billion wow. in just two years. Huge jump, right? in two years, wow, that's amazing. Now, why do they work so well with 401ks? Great question. So um, first, it's all about health and wealth. How do those two things fit together? Yeah. And people have been saving, many people have been saving all their, all their working career for their retirement. Future retirees, their number one concern is healthcare expenses. If you remember back a couple of years ago, we used to talk about housing expenses. That was the number one concern. Right, right. Now, healthcare expense has jumped up to the number one spot at about 54%. That's their number one concern of future retirees. Wow, okay, so that's, uh, yeah. Now, can you take, uh, to say, a, a 401k allocation and really just move that over to an HSA allocation, or is there other things that are involved in terms of how you invest? Yeah, what's powerful about the HSA is the triple tax benefit, which many people have heard about, but it is in addition to the, the, um, the allocation you're allowed to make to your 401k. Right. So for example, in your 401k, the limit is 18,500. Um, for an HSA for a family, that limit per year is 7,000. So that's in addition to what you've been doing in right. your 401k. Right. So, you know, and I don't want to put you on the spot here, but you, know, you follow this pretty closely. Any rumblings about increasing the limits? Uh, anything that you've been hearing? What, what's coming So, yeah, so certainly that is a, that's some conversation out there yeah. and um, we'll see, right? We'll see. So there's, yeah. a lot of, there's a lot of folks on the Hill that are lobbying to, to make that happen. Yep. But in the short term, though, that just getting um, employees, you mentioned the learning curve, the knowledge. So many employees are putting their money in the HSA and they're just leaving it in the cash account. Well, our HSA that, we're, that Nationwide is doing, we have a whole lineup of funds in there that they can choose from, target date funds, okay. yeah. um, other, other strategies, large cap sure. funds that they can choose. Yep. That's where this really starts to multiply. Okay, you can tell he's excited and I like that. That is really <laughs> great. Eric Stevenson, thanks so much for joining My us. My pleasure. Once again, I'm John Sullivan with 401k Specialist.